I need two things to get my day going. One is a great breakfast. Two is some awesome music. Today, I'm in Northwest Fresno at Benediction, where I'm gonna get my fill of both. Join me, won't you? I'm Jason Ferris, owner of Fres Yes Realty, and I've lived in Fresno all my life. Join me as I visit some of the best food spots 559 has to offer. This is Fresno Flavor. Benediction was a hot shot in Fresno's early food truck scene. Its delicious, rock star inspired breakfast dishes hit all the right notes with flavor and flair. Self taught chef and owner James Capels comes from a background in corporate restaurant management. It was there he decided to go his own and put a rebellious twist to the casual breakfast experience. Is Eggs Benedict one of those things like when you travel and you find yourself in a new city that like you're always going for the Eggs Benedict? You know, even before you started this? Before I started this, yes. Going out to breakfast is my favorite meal to eat out. I get told I have a minor ego problem, but <laughs> I have a tendency to eat other people's breakfast food and go, I could do that better. From having studied food trucks in other areas and the, the industries and other regions, you know, you need to have a brand that pulls people in. You need to do a food that people love and people know in a way that they've never seen it done before. We're Benediction. We are 100% Eggs Benedict. I think that's part of like why I love your place so much is you got the two things I need most. I need good music and I need a good breakfast. Every once in a while I'll have somebody come in here and they'll ask us to turn music down in the morning or like change it to different music and we're like, no, I'm sorry. Just that's, walking outside. That's, that's who we are, you know, that's what you're here for. We've got our all access backstage pass to the kitchen to see our virtuoso James prepare one of their signature dishes, a vegetarian twist on Eggs Benedict called the Alive. So for the Alive Benedict, we're going to have two ounces of balsamic marinated onions, two ounces of balsamic marinated peppers, criminy mushrooms, a half of an avocado, two large slices of tomatoes, two fried eggs with some hollandaise sauce and some pesto. First thing we're going to do is take the English muffin and we're going to stick that in the toaster. Heat a saute pan with some canola oil and drop the two large tomato slices on the griddle. Now the name Alive, is that coming from uh, Pearl Jam? Yeah, Eddie Vedder's a vegetarian, so we try to come up with a connection to the food dish for the song. We're going to drop the onions, peppers, and mushrooms into the hot saute pan so that it gets a nice uh, flame. As those cook, we're gonna drop two fried eggs and season those with our seasoning. Then we're going to take the toasted English muffin out of the toaster. We're gonna put it on the, on the plate. A quarter of avocado on each side of the English muffin. Uh, we're gonna take the contents of our saute pan and dome them so that they steam out for the rest of the cooking. Then we're going to flip our eggs, top off the saute pan, put the mushrooms, peppers, and onions on top of the avocado. Oh my God, that looks delicious. Yeah. We're gonna to top that with the grilled tomatoes and then the fried eggs, and then we're gonna to top it with hollandaise sauce and pesto. That's a lot of food. Yeah, we, we do two sizes. You know, we do the Benediction and the Benedict because we understand that like my Benedicts are, you know, they're, they're a meal. It's served with a choice of side. Uh, today we're serving it with our fresh fruit, which is a variety of local seasonal fruits from the Vineyard Farmer's Market. All right. God, it's good. I mean, there's such a complexity of flavors here. I think the pesto is interesting to me, but what a great thing to put on top of that hollandaise sauce, especially with all these vegetables. You know, in the valley, you, you really need to learn to utilize our, our produce, right? I mean, we grow so much of it here, and there's so many things available to you, so we, we really wanted to kind of highlight some of that valley produce, and especially in this fish. See, when people become vegetarians, I think this is how it happens. We try to keep a well, good balance of vegetarian items on the menu. You know, I, I recommend adding meat to them if you're a meat eater. Like, this one is fantastic with bacon in it. I like putting them on as vegetarian and you know, giving the vegetarian something that they can say like, this is a full complete meal for me that I don't have to take something out of. Yeah. And then if people want to add things to them, they can. It's a good philosophy. And this is, this is like a full meal. Like yeah. that bite was hearty. Yet I'm gonna have another. Benediction really embodies that rebellious rock and roll spirit. They've broken with tradition to bring some real style and originality to the breakfast experience. It's truly a place where flavor takes center stage.
I don't think I've ever ate during the entire interview, and yet I did here. It's that good. So for more information about Benediction, check out benedictiontruck.com or find them on Instagram and Facebook at BenedictionTRK. Benediction TRK. For more stories of the people, the places, the lifestyle, the delicious food in our valley, please check out fresyes.com.